Well, you're not expected to learn these three structures. They're in the data booklet. But uh, here they are, morphine, heroin, and codeine. Now, I'm going round in red to show the identical part of these three molecules. Now, you might think that you found differences. For example, that nitrogen there is different. No, it isn't. It's just drawn in a different way. That's the same sort of nitrogen. And what about that methyl group? Well, heroin, there's nothing there. No, no, there is something there. This is the skeletal structure. And if there's a line that just ends like that, that's assumed to be methyl. So that part is the same for the molecules. Specifically, the IB asks in the syllabus that you know that they contain tertiary amines. So I've outlined the tertiary amine part. So a tertiary amine is a nitrogen with three bonds to carbon atoms. In this case, three different carbon atoms. Well, let's look at the subtle differences here. Morphine has two alcohol groups. Heroin, or that functional group there, is an ester. So heroin's synthetic, or semi-synthetic. It takes a natural molecule and then you do a, a simple chemical process on it. And codeine, well, they've replaced one of those morphine alcohols with this ether group. Now, the ether group is not on the syllabus. You don't need to learn the ether group. Well, let's see how we can turn the alcohol in the morphine to the ester in heroin. Well, if you remember your esterification reaction, an alcohol and carboxylic acid makes an ester plus water. You need to warm it with sulfuric acid, which acts as a catalyst. So let's look at the above chemicals. The alcohol is morphine. The carboxylic acid, well, that would be ethanoic acid. The ester's heroin and water's water. Well, don't ever try this. This is highly illegal. Uh, but my favourite TV show does involve a chemistry teacher that goes psycho and does something similar.